I think for me it was uh, just about identity and, and identifying the best fit. Um, obviously, I got a little close up uh, in playoffs, and so that kind of when all said and done, that's kind of what excited me uh, to be part of this group. There's a lot of special things uh, brewing, so I kind of I definitely want to be a part of it. How do you see your role within the group as they you know continue to try to develop and grow as a team, and and what do you bring to this roster as it tries to you know take another step and have some more playoff success going forward? I think I just try to play my game and be hard to play against. Um, you know, I try to play wherever, uh, whoever, wherever. Um, you know, I try to use my speed and my physicality and the work to to create time and space for for whoever I'm with. Um, I like to you know use my shot and and um, yeah, I just I definitely um, you know energy is a big word uh, for me and my identity and, and trying to bring that every every shift. We'll go to Kevin Woodley, NHL.com. Sorry, Keeper, where do you, having seen them up close, where do you see yourself potentially fitting best in this lineup? And what do you see yourself bringing the most to it? I, I mean, that, that, that'll, uh, I guess, talk will decide that. Um, I, I just want to show up to work uh, day one of camp and kind of earn my stripes. Um, you know, I, I got a lot of respect for a lot of the guys in the locker room and um, making it such a hard series to play against. I kind of have a little bit, uh, I guess, different perspective. Um, but like I said, I'm just grateful um, for the opportunity. Um, and, I, you know, I want to continue the winning ways uh, of Vancouver and, and push the team as far as we can. What specifically did you see out of this group from the other side of things in the playoffs that made you want to be a part of it? Well, I, I think that the style was, you know, a little similar to, to Nashville that we played. Um, and, you know, the, the team and the players had a lot of success this year um, on both teams. And, um, you know, I know once talk got, to Vancouver that the team kind of took off uh, I think it was last year and obviously you know he won the Jack Adams so you know a lot of the systems and style um, I feel like are very similar in, in the way that I want to play and um, you know ultimately you know I think that leads to a lot of team success. Chris Faber Canucks.com. Hey Keeper congrats on the deal uh, just wanted to ask about this past season, obviously your 15th in the league in hits what is it about that physical side of the game does it something that kind of gets you going getting some hits early? Like, yeah, like I said earlier, I, I just try to be hard to play against. Um, doesn't really uh, matter who, who I'm up there with. You know, I, I want to create time and space for, for my line mates or, you know, honest for the other players too. I think at the end of the, you know, when you start off uh, you know, hitting early or, or whatever, you know, wearing the D down, I think eventually over the course of a game that, um, you know, I like to think that someone will get an opportunity somewhere in the offensive zone or whatnot. But I just try to be hard to play against and um, bring in energy and, and the compete level. Um, that is infectious and, and leads to winning at the end of the day. And then just overall, like the hits numbers are up, the points numbers are double what you've ever done in your career. What was it about this past season that just seemed to click for you um, with the Predators? Uh, I, you know, I, I think it wasn't just me. I, you know, a lot of players had, had great years on the Preds, and I, I think that's a, a culmination of a lot of team success. Um, same, same with Vancouver. You know, when the team does well, a lot of players do well. Um, I, I think just getting comfortable with, with um, you know, the, the style and the identity, um, that's kind of the focus for me. And, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, I, I think, like I said, team success leads to individual success. And um, there's a lot of good intangibles that um, I saw and I've heard about Vancouver. So that, that's kind of what excites me the most. Jeff Patterson, rink wide. Hey, Kiefer, congratulations on uh, the contract. Uh, you. you talked a lot about that playoff series. I wonder, will you have to mend some fences in this uh, Canucks locker room, or do you take it as a, a bit of a badge of honor that they wanted you on their side now because uh, uh, they admitted, I mean, you were a pain in the butt. And I think that, uh, you know, I mean, that was part of the role that you had there in Nashville, but uh, uh, no hard feelings, hockey's hockey. And then now uh, you're just, you're going to end this side now. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, business is business. Uh at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who, who you're with. You know, I want to make it hard to play against for the other team. So now I'm excited to do that, uh, you know, with, with my new teammates. And at the end of the day, it, I think it's a sign of respect and and, and honor because, you know, obviously you, you try to get the best players off their game. And um, some guys are a little harder <laughs> harder to do that than others. But um, there, there's multiple uh, ways you can do that, whether it's physically or verbally or, or whatnot. But, um, you know, I, I just, like I said, I, I want to, fit into to the team as, as best I can with with the style and um you know make Vancouver a hard place to to play against and um just an identity I want to keep feeding that identity and, and kind of add some fire to that lineup.
you're a guy that's had to work his way to the NHL and have bounced around a little bit. Do you feel like you have now carved out sort of the role for yourself in the National Hockey League? Um, I, I don't think you ever feel like you make it. You know, I think it, for me, I just try to make the most of every day and, and earn the next day. Um, it's kind of always been my mindset and just taking one day, one day at a time and, and, you know, just try to scrap and claw for, for every opportunity. But, um, you know, I, I think I found kind of what works and what is hard to play against for other people. So, um, you know, I, I try to focus on that. And um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I, I think when the team does well, like, I, you know, I said, uh, it helps everyone else. So if, if I can, um, you know, be hard to play against for, for everyone else, then you know, hopefully uh, the other guys can get some more opportunities and, and, you know, we can hopefully have more wins down the road.